Hi everybody, Captain Al speaking with your time training tips and 10 ticks targeted to teaching technical type transport travel through tailored tiny takeaways. The question for today, episode 4, part 2, explain the tab functions on the electronic checklist or ECL for the Boeing 747-8. Let's go over to the virtual simulator and take a look. Back in the virtual simulator for part two for the 747-8, what do all the tabs do on the electronic checklist? So you can see we left off with the before start checklist and we've done our flow pattern for that. So let's just run through that real quick. Uh, MCP V2170 heading 045 altitude 10,000. And we check that off because that's an open loop. Takeoff speeds V1, 144, VR, 154, V2, 170. CDU preflight completed, completed. Trim is 6.3 units, 0 and 0 on the aileron and rudder trim. Taxi and takeoff briefing is completed. And that completes the uh, before start checklist. And then we go ahead and stow it. Again, when we bring it back, it'll come back to the before taxi. Go ahead and start the uh, engines and be right back. Okay, we've started the uh, engines and we're on the uh, before taxi checklist. Again, that's the checklist that uh, comes up automatically as the next checklist in line. And a couple of closed, well, one closed loop item, everything else is open loop. Um, Anti-ice is on, the temperature is uh, 10 degrees Celsius and it is uh, raining here in Minneapolis so we've got the engine and the ice on and the recall has been checked you'll notice that there is one message here it says checklist incomplete norm and the reason for that is because we're on the active runway and we have not completed the uh, before takeoff checklist and so as a result that will uh, come up so if you were to take the active uh, FMC departure runway and you haven't completed the before takeoff checklist, this message will come up telling you you're not, uh, you, you have incompleted the normal checklist. There's two other situations where this will come up. One of them will be uh, if you're below the transition altitude and the uh, flaps are not up uh, and you have not completed the approach checklist, this checklist incomplete norm will come up. And the other time is when you're on uh, final approach and you're below 500 feet and you have not completed the landing checklist, this uh, checklist incomplete norm. So whenever this comes up, it's trying to tell you that you haven't completed a checklist that you should have completed by this point. And so since we're on the active runway and we haven't done the before takeoff checklist, you've got this message. So we know what that is, so we'll clear that. We'll check it off. Uh, flight controls have been checked and ground equipment's clear. Notice again, the prompt comes at normal. We'll stow it, checklist, and then when we're ready to line up and we do our lineup checks, we push checklist again, it'll come up with the next checklist in line, which is the before takeoff checklist. And now you can see if we push recall, that message is going to be gone now because um, we, we have completed the before takeoff checklist and we're on the active runway. This is the one checklist, this and the uh, landing checklist are the ones that have to be confirmed by both pilots. So as the first officer, when I say uh, before takeoff checklist complete, I've got to leave the checklist up here and the captain has to look at it and verify it's complete and then he will say checklist complete. And it's the same thing with the landing checklist. Once the gear is down and the speed brakes are armed and the flaps are at your final flap setting and we call for the landing checklist, uh, as the first officer, I'd bring it up and say landing checklist complete, and I'd have to hear re his response of checklist complete. He'd have to look at it, verify it, say checklist complete. When I hear that, then I can stow the checklist away. Okay, let's look at some of these uh, tabs. Uh, on the top, you've got normal menu, resets, and non-normal menu. We've talked about the resets. A uh, normal menu would have all your uh, normal menu items. So if I uh, select that, you'll see that uh, the normal menu comes up with pre-flight, before start, before taxi, before takeoff, after takeoff, descent, approach, landing, shutdown, and secure. 
Uh, and you can get to any of these checklists by taking your cursor and putting it down to any of the checklists and selecting it. Of course, again, like we've been describing, this is going to be automatic when you push the uh, checklist button. Uh, this is uh, all customizable. This is a um, PMDG model. And so they went with the Boeing procedures and the Boeing checklist. But obviously, if an airline didn't call this the pre-flight checklist, they called it something else, then you could uh, replace this with whatever the airline uh, calls the checklist. So it's customizable. In this case, it is Boeing, uh, a standard Boeing checklist. Uh, for example, if we come down here and go to the um, before taxi and we push it, it goes to the before taxi checklist and resets it. And again, we could just run through that to make sure it's complete. And that's the next checklist that it's waiting for when we're ready, when we get airborne. So let's look at the uh, non-normal menu. To get there, we uh, put our cursor over a non-normal menu, push select, and up comes all the uh, non-normal checklists. Of course, most of the time when you get a ICAST message and you push, if you have a non-normal, and you push checklist, the checklist for that non-normal is automatically going to come up. But if you had to go into the e into the menu to check for a particular non-normal or to get a non-normal, then uh, you would go to the non-normal menu to go there. So let's look at, um, let's go down to electrical. And you'll notice our three um, little decimal points or periods next to electrical. That just means that there's multiple checklists within electrical. Uh, this will take you to a submenu that has more checklists. You'll notice all of these have uh, uh, three periods next to them, meaning there's more multiple checklists within this. So if we push electrical now, you'll see that, yeah, yes, indeed, there are multiple checklists for electrical. And again, you could scroll down to any one you want it to look at, and you could push uh, the selector and then up would come electrical AC bus 2. And notice it says uh, attempt only one reset and if that were complete we go ahead and check that off. And then uh, it's showing a condition, uh, conditional checklist item here that says if the electrical AC bus 2 message shows and you'd have to look at the ICAST and say yes or no to this and then you could rotate that. Let's say it says no, so then we'd highlight no and, and push no. Now if you wanted to, you can fool around with any of these checklists, if you wanted to reset this checklist back to normal, you can come down to the checklist reset button on the lower tab and push checklist reset and that will reset the checklist back to the original state and you can start over again. So if you got interrupted with a checklist and you needed to start over, you could do a checklist reset to start over. If you did not want to carry out a checklist, for example, if we go back to here and get back to where we were, say no again, and let's go to page two, and let's say we say, well, I don't want to carry out this checklist anymore. I'm just going to override it. If you go to checklist override and then push override, it basically bypasses the whole checklist and says that the checklist is overridden. Everything goes to cyan, meaning it's been, it doesn't apply, and that whole checklist has then been overridden. And we can go back to normal. An item override would be, for example, on the after takeoff checklist, that's a common one. If you kept the flaps at one and you never got the flaps up, then you could do an item override. And an item override would simply say that, well, the flaps, they never went to up. Uh, we're keeping them at five or one or whatever. So we want to complete this item, but we can't complete it because it's a closed loop item. And the, and the airplane senses flaps up to be true, and it's not true, but we can overwrite that or we can do an item override, which will then say, okay, bypass that. Uh, just override that one item, and then that would complete the checklist. So anything that you need to override a particular item and not the whole checklist, you could do an item override, and that would turn cyan 
and then uh, or blue and then and then complete the checklist there's also a couple other tabs that you have here um, one of them would be the uh, notes tab and we'll show you that when we're airborne whereas if there's any notes in a particular non-normal uh, and we say in the checklist says note do this do this do this on landing or be aware of this then there's going to be a note tab that shows up and then prior to landing you can review those items because there's notes in the checklist and the other tab here that's not showing is a non-normal tab so if you were to go to um, now let's go back to the non-normal menu and let's go to an unannunciated checklist and let's go to a um, let's just go engine and we'll go to aborted engine start and again these couple closed loop items here um, and let's just say we get to the point where we um, yeah let's go to let's bring number one to cut off just for the heck of it that's a, a, a closed loop so when you do that uh, that'll check it off engine start switch pull we could go up to the start switch and pull number one and then motor the engine for 30 seconds okay so this would be if we had a non-normal and now let's say that uh, we just stop there and we go to back to our normal checklist for, for some reason there's the after takeoff checklist again we haven't gotten there yet but notice this non-normal uh, button occurs down here that's because it's telling you that there's a non-normal checklist in the queue that you have not completed and it's waiting for you so the fact that we did the non-normal aborted engine start checklist we didn't complete it and so this is a non-normal queue that tells us you've got a non-normal procedure in the queue and when you push this and go back to it it would then go to the non-normal checklist which we have the engine one shutdown and engine auto start and if we wanted to go back and complete the auto start we'd go back there to that checklist and then we could uh, complete the we motored it and then engine start switch push and we'll go up to the engine start switch again and push that and we have to check it off because it's an open loop item so we'll check that off and then inhibited checklist engine one fuel valve engine one limit exceedance these are uh, checklists that would not occur, not uh, come up because they're inhibited in this situation, and the checklist is complete. So that completes some of the discussion on the tabs. Uh, it's a good idea to go in there and look at what's involved with all these tabs and get comfortable with them. Uh, part three will cover the airborne uh, non-normal, and we'll look at a few other things. Thanks for watching.